Hello, I'm Lessa Logan. Today we're going to do horseback here on the Reformer. Horseback. Oh, it's an exercise people love to hate. Um, I think they love to hate it as much as they love to hate teaser, and it's because it's the same thing. So um, I'm going to show you the exercise, and we can talk about some other things. Um, I have one heavy spring on. The goal is that your legs are hugging your box, not internally, not externally, but more parallel. Um, I do see a lot of people hugging it externally. That's fine in the beginning, but you're actually never going to get the strength to hug it parallel that way. So I highly recommend it. Um, remember, you can always do horseback on the ladder barrel to prepare for this. You don't have to learn it here first. Um, so you want to have your legs up here. The feet are flexed, not just for choreography, but to help you reach through your legs here and kind of like stop your horse, right? The hands are here. And then a lot of people focus more on lifting the hips up. I want you to focus on the longest round shape, right? And also working from your back. So for me, this is a really easy exercise to get caught up in my chest and my pec. So with flex feet, squeeze in the box, you point your toes and you reach your arms forward. This could be your prep. You could just come right back down. Point the toes, find your shape and reach. Notice how my legs are dropping down. That's not ideal. So <laughs> I'm going to hug more. I'm going to pull my abs in a little bit more. And then as I reach my arms forward, I'm going to find the length. Now I'm going to hold it here and I'm going to draw three circles. And I could use a little more lift in my chest <sighs> so that I'm not, you know, becoming too short. But your circles are more like ovals. It's more important that you're connected to your back than it is that you make a bigger circle. Also, that we don't want to see when it's the hardest part of the exercise. So when the arms go from being down to coming up, that's when we tend to see that it's a really hard exercise. Try to keep that like a secret. So hug the legs in and point the toes and circle three times, reaching your tailbone towards your heels. Flex your feet to stop the horse. Go right into your next one. So every time I circle my arms, I can feel my upper abs come in more and my arms connect to my back more. And that's your horseback. So again, if you're struggling with this, feel free to do it with one pound weights. Do it on your ladder barrel for a long time. Don't worry about your butt lifting off the box. Worry more about your arms connecting to your back. And then also rhythm saves. This is one of those exercises that you're just not really going to like perfect it by doing it slow and over and over and over again. Um, I would do it. And then when you discover, wow, that's really hard. I really need to focus on this, this, and this. Go practice those things around the room and then come back. It's kind of um, a thermometer of how you're doing in your practice rather than like a teaching exercise, kind of like hip circles, right? So if you have questions about that, I love to hear them in the comments below. If you want to see how these fit into a nice, awesome reformer or practice, then join me on my online PilatesClasses.com for my reformer classes, where I tend to add the horse back in because I think it's important whether you do it with weights or with straps to challenge yourself and challenge what you know and see how far you're coming. I'm Lessa Logan. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.